here we have a fairly generic or well a fairly common uh, 0 0.75 kilowatt pump these the specific pump is used by a few different companies such as mac africa and jojo the the same pump typically just a different color same castings and same same components it is a cast iron impellers setup so the very important thing to keep in mind with any of the cast iron iron pumps is you don't want to use corrosive water because if you have a water which is either corrosive or the ph is below about 7.2 if there's any sort of a nick on the paint on the inside it'll start to rust and it'll start to eat the pump away and then you don't get a great life on the pump so what this is is this is simply controlled by a pressure pressure switch here and then the pump is just plugged in directly let's see what we actually find with this we turn it on everything is closed at the moment on our pressure gauge here we're finding five and a half bar pressure if we then open one shower there's one shower fully open we are sitting at about 21 liters liters per minute there and our pressure has dropped to about 3.2 bar if we then open a second shower you can see that the, the pressure dips a little bit on there our pressure has dropped down to about 1.6 bar oh and we're sitting at about 35 liters per minute and then if we open a third shower, you see a significant drop in, in the flow rate there. And then we've dropped down to one bar. And we're sitting probably about 40 liters per minute. So that gives us a good idea of that. If we then close this, one of the things with the dumb pressure switch pumps is that... <sighs> They tend to turn on and off, on and off, on and off. Because if there's any water running anywhere, they don't stop. Like here, this thing's turned off now. But the, the, the thing you get is it turns on at full speed as soon as you have a slight amount of water going. And if you look at the behavior here, if we, have, if we quickly open it, you'll get not a, oh, there, there's a little bit of water running. Then it turns back on. And if we close it, Let's, let's just get it to switch off. Okay, switch off. If I open it quickly, you'll see it's not immediate pressure, so it's not like municipal water. So you get that sort of little bit of pressure, and then it starts going. Well, overall, that's the behavior of the pump. Now, the next thing to check is the power consumption. So at the moment, it's off we're getting no power power drawn okay there we're getting shoot, 940 watts with a single shower running open the second one it's actually settled out a little bit now we're now at 720 watt so that's more where it's actually rated now the interesting thing with these pumps is if you only run a little bit of water so let's say we're only running a trickle of water there. We're actually pulling 900 watts. So because the pump's actually working harder, uh, there would up to 1.1 kilowatt on this pump with just a, just a little bit of water running. And then obviously when it, when it stops, it's going to go back to zero. So oh, there's 1.2 kilowatt on the 0.775 kilowatt pump there. So that so the range we saw there was the lowest we saw was 720 watt and it went all the way up to 1.2 kilowatt when running at a small flow. So these dump pumps, the big downside with them is if, you, if you've got, often got applications where you're only running a little bit of water, like say um, you have a filter system in the house which slowly is running, you actually find that that's when they're drawing the most power out of any setup, setup there. Yeah. That's the basic 0.75 kilowatt relatively simple pump.